We're going to go to John in Philadelphia. How are you doing, John? David, I'm doing very good. Uh, David, I wanted to ask a very specific question. Uh, during your upcoming break, could you look at three uh, cruise line companies, CCL, RCL, and NCLH, that's kind of a cruise, Royal Cruise, and Norwegian. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, when you look at those three charts, using uh, your uh, patented uh, shorting volume indicators and your um, – uh, you've got that uh, other indicator. Uh, I'm wondering if you can identify which of the three looks like it uh, internally is the weakest of the bunch. The patterns are virtually identical, by the way. Yeah, uh, we talked. We looked at these a little bit yesterday, but sure, certainly we will take a look at them when we come back. You want to hang on? Thanks so much. Okay. Um, the ones you had out here were, uh, was it Norwegian, Royal Caribbean? Yes, that is, and, uh, you know, that's the one I don't know, Norwegian, Royal, and Carnival. Okay, I just wondered about the ticker to make sure I had it right. Here's the one thing that I would say, first of all, uh, especially if you've got diminishing folks coming on, and that is that... Uh, that uh, Carnival has four new ships falling into the water this year. They'll probably be the worst hit on any kind of slowdown because these uh, are basically re uh, replacing ships uh, that maybe held 3,500 people and now be able to hold 5,000. So, you know, you've got uh, a lot of supply coming on, which I've been looking at this at for a while. Uh, the question is whether or not, you know, the basically the floating uh, golden corral, uh, which is what the kind of the Caribbean cruises are like. The other ones are a little bit more upscale. Uh, but I would uh, suspect that Royal Caribbean, or I mean, uh, <clears throat> Carnival, those people kind of the lower end of the cruising spectrum or less le lower dollar probably going to be the ones also that but didn't buy the insurance i imagine the more upscale one bought the insurance um, so they may continue and go the other ones uh the insurance whatever it is 30 50 bucks seems pretty cheap compared to a horrible vacation uh, that you may be forced to go on uh so anyway first of all norwegian probably the best of the breed and the way that they're run, uh, RCL, the second one, which is Royal Caribbean Cruises, both of those are kind of at the top. Uh, Carnival, uh, not at the top. And I think that's exactly the reason why those four ships. Uh, I talk from time to time about uh, patterns that I like, and probably the best one for topping uh, certainly is uh, Joe De, uh, DiNapoli's double repo pattern. Uh, you've got a double repo pattern showing up in the CCL today. Uh, and you also have one, it was in Royal Caribbean. Um, it went through yesterday. Then we'll go through these patterns just a second. And then do you have, uh, eh, it's less pronounced. Norwegian's the best of the breed. The other two look like they'd be taking it on the chin. I think uh, uh, Carnival, with all the ships coming on and all that uh, additional overhead, may be the worst of the bunch. But uh, not bad. Uh, anyway, for a uh, double uh, Joe DiNapoli double repo pattern, what you're really looking for is a trend higher with 10 to 15, maybe 20 days above uh, a three-day uh Displaced moving average or a nine day. In fact, we'll look at this in a nine day too. Um, this is where the nine day is a little smoother uh, than the three by three, but both of them have it. All you really need is a little close lower uh, in Carnival uh, to put that together. And uh, to, to, uh, what else did we have? Uh, RCL. 
Uh, now this one's uh, kind of a blow off top, but it did the same thing. Uh, but this one actually went higher for longer. You can make a case that this one had 25 days above uh, the nine day, closed a few days underneath it, went sideways for about seven days. Yesterday went below it, today you've got it, but supports at about 128. So it's gonna take a little bit to break that. Um, I'd still say the dog is uh, uh, Carnival Corp. That'd be my pick as the weak sister in the, in the bunch. And uh, like I said, depending on whether you use the nine day moving average or you go here and look at the uh, displaced moving average. Uh, on the displaced moving average, you're getting the signal to pull it today, but you don't have much in the way of uh, volume so far. But uh, yeah, I think that, that one uh, of interest is I'm looking at your charts with your power law vector indicator mm -hmm. and that chart pattern <clears throat> and that Royal uh, Royal Caribbean RCL has got in place um, uh, a perfect double high. We don't know if it's a top or anything yet, up at that 135 level uh, versus January of, well, actually two, uh, 24 months ago. And I just, um, uh, lurking in the back of my mind was the action of these names uh, back there, what was it, October of 2014 when there was that Ebola scare. And so there was a nice brief trade, well, wasn't tradable because I didn't see that coming, but uh, um, you had that phenomena. So uh, thanks very much on reviewing those three, David. I appreciate that. Yep. Well, I don't know what will happen, but I do think that uh, Carnival probably looks the weakest. It has the worst pattern already. If you just looked at it without the volumes or anything, it hadn't made it back up to the tops. And it right. tends to be uh, heavily over leveraged. Uh, financially in the past. Uh, so, you know, uh, on that one, I think you could easily see 39.46 come back there uh, if the the uh, whole issues with the SARS continues on. So right. good luck. Thanks, David. You bet.